Hello Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, we will be creating some original Christmas DIY decor that you can make using these items from the Dollar Tree. Now to all of my amazing subscribers and visitors, I wanted to say hey hey, and if you aren't a subby yet, what are you waiting for? By clicking subscribe, you'll be one of the first to see all of my new content, so let's dive in. Now this project is a holiday display decor piece. Now for this project, you'll need one of these toy umbrellas from the Dollar Tree. We'll need a glass candle plate from the Dollar Tree. And we'll need these four count packages of balloon stands. You want to make sure you get the four and not the 12. So we're going to start off with the umbrella piece. And we're going to use just the umbrella, not the stand. And this is what we're going to use for the top of our project. Now what we're going to do is we're going to also use those little balloon stands. We're going to grab a couple out of the package. And I wanted to use these for the side supports for my umbrella. So I'm going to cut these down to approximately seven inches. And we're going to need four pieces at seven inches again make sure you get the four pack and not the 12 pack so to cut these is really easy just use a pair of wire clippers and they snip right off again you want to make sure they are all even this is very important you want to make sure they're cut exactly the same length so what I want to do now is kind of reinforce the edges and what I'm doing is taking some of my hot glue and inserting it in each one of the ends. Now what this does is support the ends, keeps it from slipping around and also adds additional support when you start to bond these all together. You want to do this for all four pieces. And once that is done, we can start applying them to our umbrella piece. Now we are going to mark the cross section that you can apply them. It's easily identified by the natural curves and folds of the umbrella add a generous amount at the first point on the inside of the umbrella and place that straw or that support right in the place pressing it down until it's held firmly in place we're going to repeat this all the way around at all four points and this is what you end up with your umbrella is now on a nice sturdy stand now once the first layer of glue dries go in and reinforce the sides and the tops of that straw with more hot glue and this is what you'll end up with now to give it a less shiny surface, I'm going to go ahead and just go in with some um, fine grit sandpaper on the top and on the legs. You don't have to go in really heavy, just remove some of the shine. And then we are going to clean the entire thing. We want to make sure this is entirely dust free and particle free on the top, the legs and all of the pieces because we will be spray painting these. Now I'm going to make sure you get that marking off on the inside as well so nothing will interfere with the spray paint adhesion. So now that it's all sanded, I want to add something to the top like a finial. Now they have these little block pieces at the Dollar Tree and a snowman and a Christmas tree and an angel. I decided to use the angel piece for my topper for this project. So sorry, I am going to remove the wings from the angel. They are paper. And then I'm going to sand off the glue that was holding on the wings. You want to wipe it down really clean and then we can use this to top off our umbrella as a finial. I'm going to add some of my hot glue. I'm using my wood hot glue. You can use E6000 or something stronger, but I found that this was perfect for this project. Just add it to the very top, pressing it in place and allowing that to completely dry. So now that that is done, grab your little candle plate. We're going to remove all the labeling. We're also going to give this a good clean with rubbing alcohol as well because this piece will be painted. Now you can see how these will go together. I didn't glue them together on purpose because I wanted the top to be removable, but you can glue them together if you like. Now I'm gonna paint these. I'm using this Krylon spray paint in black in like a satin finish. You can use flat as well, or you could just go with white or any color that you love. And here are my pieces after drying for a couple of hours. They look amazing. I used about two to three coats a minute apart and then I let them dry. Now when I squeeze those legs in, they fit perfectly inside of that candle plate as shown here. So this is what I was going for. I mean, you could use dowel rods, but you won't have that flexibility. And plus these balloon stand rods are really strong. Now you could also add in a tap light or fairy lights if you want to. You could use the little square like hook and loop Velcro straps if you wanted to to put that in there if you wanted this to be a lighted piece. 
Now, what I did notice is that I wanted to have a little bit of an accent around the edges and top of my piece. So what I'm going to do is go in with some of this metallic acrylic paint by Folk Art that I picked up from Walmart. And I had this on hand for a while. Now, this will just give it just that light accent, almost kind of old world, really rich looking, almost like metal. So this is what I was going for in this project. So I'm going to first start off with a fine tipped paintbrush and I'm going around the scalloped edge. It doesn't have to be complete coverage because again, there is a little wear showing on there. You want it to have like a natural faded effect. So I'm going around those scallops just really lightly with my fine tipped paint paintbrush. Now once I do that, this is what it looks like. And now I'm gonna work on the top of the finial. Now you could use your paintbrush. And I found that using my fingers in this was perfect because it created that light uh, smudge that I wanted. Sometimes the paintbrush is too sharp and I wanted the smudge. So now I'm gonna go around the edges of the umbrella and just highlight those with a little bit of gold. Not the whole line, just pieces and parts. It makes it look like a more natural kind of oil rubbed kind of look. I'm really loving how the gold paint is um, affecting this project because it makes it look really high end. Now there is a project called Rub and Buff that you could use. I know that you could use that to achieve the same look, but this is cheaper and more economical and it works, which is more important. So here's the top all nice and finished. And of course we have to have the legs to match. So I, this, I'm going to be using a combination of the paintbrush and my finger. So I'm dabbing on paint and then smudging it around with my fingers to get that perfect application. I'm going to make sure that I do all four legs the same way. And here it is. So here we go. We're going to do the candle plate the same way. First of all, we're just going to do the edges just like we did the topper part. And here are those edges. And then I'm going to do the plate part. So I wanted to show this. I'm taking that gold paint. Again, I'm just drawing some random lines around the natural creases and round edges of the plate. And then once we do all of that, you know, around the inner edges and the inside edges, I'm going to smudge it around again with my finger. This actually just makes it look exactly like I want to gives it that old world rustic look that I'm looking for so there you go this is what it looks like it turned out perfect so here my piece is all together. Look, I love how this turned out. This is going to be so much fun to decorate during the holidays. I'm so glad I went with the gold. It worked perfect in this project. And here it is you guys. I mean, I love how this piece turned out. Now accenting the black with the gold paint was such a great idea and I am so glad I went with that, that option. And then with all of the great highlights, it gives you more character and all you have to do now is add your own decor to finish the look. Now you could even use this as an LED candle display too. And here is that LED candle display. I think that this turned out gorgeous as well. And all I did was add some holiday greenery and then the candle and you have this beautiful decor piece. Now the options don't stop there. You can add Dollar Tree ornaments and accessories to make a wintry scene. I think this was such an easy update. I cut a piece of microfiber cloth for the bottom to make snow and just added some Dollar Tree ornaments and it turned out really cute. Now, of course, if the black option isn't your thing, you can make this in white too. Now I did accent this version in gold and then I topped it with the wood snowman this time. Now this is the perfect way to display some of those houses from the cobblestone collection at the Dollar Tree. And of course you can add that LED candle to this one as well. Now you all have to definitely let me know what you would love to display in this piece. Now this project is a happy holiday lighted decor piece. 
Now we're gonna need two of these salad plates, dinner plates from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna need six tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna need two holiday greenery bundles of your choice from the Dollar Tree. And of course, a strand of battery fairy lights from the Dollar Tree. You can use any color that you love. All right, we're gonna start off with the two plates, one salad plate and one dinner plate. Now I wanted to bond these together, but I wanted a gap in between them. So this is where the tumbling tower blocks come into play. So I have six of them. They're gonna be a layer of two with three blocks on the top and three blocks on the bottom. And I'm just gonna adhere them in groups of three. Now, once you have your two groups of three, you're just going to stack them on top of each other and glue those together. And that will be the perfect height that I need to make the separation between the two plates. So now I'm going to take the back of the salad plate and remove any labels if there are any back there. And I'm going to glue the block set on the back of the salad plate. I am using my wood hot glue for this, but you could use E6000 or Gorilla Glue or any glue of your choice. Now you just want to glue that until it's nice and secure on the back. Now we're going to make sure we mark the middle of the happy holiday sign on the back of the plate so we know how to put our lights on there. So I'm going to be using some of these Dollar Tree fairy lights. I've had these for a while, but they do sell these in stores now for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So I'm unwinding my lights and I'm just going to start wrapping this around the back of that salad plate. And I want to make sure it's outside of the part that the plate sits on. So I'm just going to be adhering this with the easiest thing, which is scotch tape. This is the perfect thing to use for this. No need to use hot glue or any adhesives it works perfectly since these lights are very lightweight so I'm going to wrap it around twice until you have the battery pack and a little bit of the wire dangling from the bottom center and then what you're going to do is you're going to adhere that plate onto the dinner plate add more of your glue of your choice on the back of those blocks and then make sure you carefully center it on the dinner plate on top Now all we have to do is flip the whole thing over and we're just gonna add the battery pack to the back. Now you could use those little adhesive squares for the Dollar Tree or like the Velcro, or I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my Scotch tape. Not a problem, as you can see, it is stuck there. It isn't going anywhere and it works perfectly for this project. So now what we're gonna do is take two of those greenery bundles that you chose and I'm just gonna kind of intertwine them together to make them one nice long bundle. This will be accenting the bottom of our piece. It's really easy to do and you can use any bundle that you want. So everything is nice and adhere on our plates. This is where the bundle will go. We want to cover up the little wire from the lights. We're just gonna sit this here. Now we're not gonna be gluing this or anything. All we need to do is sit it in front. So what we're going to take to display this is one of these little picture holders from the Dollar Tree. Now I do show a large one here, but I did find that the smaller ones actually hold the plate a little better, but you can use either one of them. You're gonna sit your plate on the plate holder and then grab that bundle and then we're gonna sit that bundle right in front of it, just kind of covering up that wire. There's no need to actually glue this or adhere this because once you have it sitting on display, it shouldn't be bothered at all. So it would be perfect to just sit it right there and you can also reuse these items. So to test it out, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on those lights and there you go, you have a lighted background. I think that is so sweet. I love how this turned out. So now you could just put these on display. And here is the plate on display. I just think that this turned out super sweet. Now I do love that soft glow from the back of the plate and it highlights all of that pretty trim and design on these plates. I just love this collection this year. Now adding the holiday bundle just tops the whole thing off. Now this is an easy project that you can make that looks great on any display. Now I turned off my studio lights and you can really enjoy the glow in the back of the plate. Now I think this is definitely one that you can whip up really quick and make an impressive display to enjoy all of the holiday season. Now this project is a tiered holiday candle stand. Now we're going to need three of these plastic wine glasses from the Dollar Tree. 
Also a pool noodle in any color from the Dollar Tree. And some of this peel and stick contact paper in a dark wood grain texture from the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna start off with that pool noodle. We're gonna be cutting this down to size. This will be the stands for our candles and I'm gonna give these a wood grain look. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out my measuring um, my measuring board here and I decided to go with about six inches. I'm starting with the smallest one so that'll be six inches long. So I'm marking it with my marker and these are easy to cut. I cut mine with a standard kitchen knife. It works perfect. Don't need any special knives for this. And then I'm going to lay that six inch one against the pool noodle, cut the next piece about an inch and a half to two inches longer, and then take the middle size piece and cut that one about an inch and a half to two inches longer. And now you have your staggered candle piece. So now that we have all those cut, we're going to grab some of that contact paper. Now I did cho choose the dark wood grain one. I think this is the one that really has great wood grain textures in it. I love the design of it. So this is what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to wrap these around my candles and I wanted to make sure that the wood grain went vertical and not horizontal for my piece. You could do it either way, but I just found that horizontal worked better for me. So I cut a piece with about a two inch overhang on each side of the foam piece and I wrapped it up and then just cut off all of the excess. Now you do want to make sure it overlaps about at least an inch in the back. Now once you get your piece all nice and cut, you could just add your pool noodle to the middle and we're just going to wrap this baby up. You just want to make sure it's as smooth as possible and not have any wrinkles if possible and you want to smooth it out. Now we do have a significant overhang on one of the sides. So for this will be the bottom side. So I'm going to trim that down till there's about maybe an inch of the contact paper hanging off the edge. And then I'm going to go in and make these kind of vertical slits on it because this is the way that we're going to close that end in. And then I'm just going to start pushing those slits down in, making sure it goes down into the center of that pool noodle. So these will be tucked right in. Now this, this doesn't have to be pretty at all. You could just tuck it in because we will be covering this up later. But this is what it looks like with all those pieces tucked in. Now for the top end um, of this project, we're going to do just a little bit differently since this one will be showing. So we are going to trim this one down, but we want to make sure we trim it down to a level that doesn't go to the inside of the middle of the hole of that pool noodle we just want to cover up the white on this so again I'm just trimming it down and then I am going to go around and snip it just like I snipped it for the bottom again I'm just going to do this all the way around and then start folding it in now what you may find is it doesn't stick but I'm going to use some of my hot glue to help it stick now be cautious make sure you use it on a low setting because this will melt the plastic of the contact paper and the pool noodle so use a low setting and here is everything all folded in and secured we just want to repeat this for all the other pieces and then you'll have all three pieces done so here they are they are all covered the tops and the bottoms look perfect and now we can move on to the next step Now, I did mention I want to cover up the bottom. I'm using this crafting foam in a color of black. And to cover the bottom is really easy. I am just going to um, adhere the bottom of it to the actual foam. So I'm going around the bottom of these and I'm just going to go a couple rounds of my hot glue. And then I want to press it onto that foam until it's nice and adhered. Now, once that one is in place, we're just going to go ahead and repeat this for the rest of them. And here it is. So I'm just going to uh, cut them off now that they're dry. I'm going to cut them apart and then trim them off with a pair of scissors. And as you can see, the bottom is now nice and finished. I love finishing the bottom of my projects. It just shows pride and project and pride in crafting. So I always love to finish off the bottoms of my projects. So here it is. All three of them are done. And now we can move on and do the next step. So I noticed that the um, contact paper was a little shinier than I would like. So I'm going in with some fine grip sandpaper to kind of remove some of that shine. Now, as you notice, some of the um, texture from the pool noodle has transferred onto the wood and that was fine with me. It gave it more character, but if you don't want the texture, sand your 
um, vinyl or your contact paper before applying it to your pool noodles. So now we're at the step where we can go ahead and adhere these all together. So I'm using a couple of lines of that wood hot glue and I'm just pressing and holding the pieces together to adhere them. Now I did want these to look like a bundle so I'm not um, gluing them all in a row. I'm gluing them kind of like almost in a V shape. So it looks like a cluster of wood pieces hanging up there. I love how this looks so far. I mean, it really does look like wood. So now we're going to add our candle holder portion and this is where those wine glasses come into play. So we're only going to need three of these out of the four pack. Now I did want to put these inside the pool um, noodle holes to be like a holder. Um, so we're going to start with taking our wire clippers and we're going to clip off the very end of this. Now I'm doing a test fit to make sure it fits and it looks pretty good. So um, now all you have to do is um, add, clip all of them and add them in and make sure they fit okay. Now they are kind of crowded, but they did look okay. But if you don't want the crowded effect, use the champagne glasses, they would work perfect. So now to adhere them, I'm adding a generous, and I do mean generous amount of hot glue around the like the base underneath that candle or the um, wine glass and sliding it right into those pool noodles. We're gonna do the same thing for the other ones and here are the cluster together. I love the way that this looks. It has the candle holders at the top with the wood stands. Now, even though this does look great, I did want to accent with a little bit of holiday color. So I'm using some random ribbon and Dollar Tree ornaments and greenery that I had on hand. So I'm starting off with some of this burlap ribbon and I have some red ribbon that I'm going to accent it with. And just by lining a line of hot glue through the center, I'm going to add that red ribbon to the middle. This will be the main piece that wraps around my candle set. And then I'm taking one of these garland ties from the Dollar Tree, twisting the ends together to make a little faux wreath which I think is really cute. And I'm gonna add that to the center of my ribbon. Now I'm applying that with a little hot glue on each side and then pressing that down until that piece is secure. And then the final piece is adding this little deer. I just added a little bow to it and then I'm gonna just adhere it to the wreath with a little hot glue. And that is the complete piece that we are going to wrap around our candle set. So now I'm just gonna grab that and I'm just gonna wrap it around centering that piece in the middle. And then I'm gonna adhere, adhere the ends to end with the little hot glue. You don't need to use too much, but you do want this to be snug so it doesn't slide down while your piece is on display. Now just had your candles and oh my goodness, this is what it looks like. I think it turned out so pretty. Now the pool noodles add and contact paper make the perfect faux wood design I needed for this project. And then adding this little accent finishes the look. I really do hope you guys have as much fun as I did creating this project. Now listen, all of these budget-friendly DIYs are so sweet, but let me know in the comments which one was your favorite today. Go ahead and click that thumbs up if you enjoy crafting as much as I do, and share this video with your friends that love to craft too. Now don't forget to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and for even more projects and random giveaways. Also, click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next DIY video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.